Hello guys and I am getting ready to pack for my trip to Turkey and I'm going to quickly show you what I'm going to be packing. So I do have a backpack and a small carry-on and we're going to see what I can get aboard these planes. This is my mini London Fog carry-on and with this thing guys, your best friend are going to be these packing cubes. So I was able to get a lot of my clothing in here and I have some beauty products as well. Okay, so personal items and... This is going to be my personal bag as well. I find that these are very helpful with luggage and just keeping everything nice and organized. So this is where I have my makeup and things like that. So I did purchase one of these to carry along with me when I do go on my mini voyages when I arrive. And it is the winter time, so I do have a coat. This is all I'm bringing with me on my trip. And next stop, Istanbul, Turkey. My first stops were to view the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. These are two of the most popular mosques in Istanbul, and they're conveniently located right across from one another. It's required that all women entering into a mosque must wear a hijab. You can bring your own hijab or purchase one upon entering. The Hagia Sophia is massive and breathtaking. Just be mindful of prayer times because they will not let you in during those times or if you visit too close to prayer beginning, you'll get kicked out before you even have time to enjoy the mosque. The Ezen, also known as the call to prayer, is chanted five times a day and broadcasted throughout the streets, so don't get alarmed if you hear prayer over the loudspeaker when you're spending time in Istanbul. There are no shoes allowed inside of the mosque. You can bring your own bag to carry your shoes with you, or you can use the convenient shoe cubbies usually located against the walls. One unique thing you'll notice about the artwork and architecture is that it has influence from both the Islamic religion and Christianity. Istanbul has a very interesting history, being that it was under the rule of both the Roman-led Benzathene Empire and the Turkish-led Ottoman Empire. One thing I absolutely loved about the city was viewing these beautiful mosques. Take advantage of tea culture when you're visiting Turkey. Most people will welcome you into their shops, offer you tea for nothing in return but just your conversation and company. It's a sign of hospitality and courtesy. Plus, you'll get a chance to try some of the best fruit teas you've ever had in your life. The tea freebies were definitely something that I enjoyed while visiting Turkey. Be sure to visit both the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar when you visit this city. One thing I didn't care too much for was the haggling culture. So if you're not used to haggling for a price, it may be uncomfortable and a little bit intimidating. A lot of the shops also sold similar items, so souvenirs, teas, and desserts. So just be careful with who you want to spend your money with and never feel pressured to buy anything. Just politely decline and walk away. Another thing I disliked about the shopping experience was that there were no prices on a lot of the items. So this is where the haggling comes in once again. So just be mindful, a lot of things that you pick up or want to purchase isn't going to have a price. So you'll either have to name your price, accept the one that you're given, or try to haggle for a better deal. How you can do every morning if you open your eyes to for sleep, but before breakfast, I think it's fine. And the stomach, just 10 pieces, maybe more. Just put in the water. If you say the hocus focus, more <laughs> hocus focus changes the more. How you understand this is good cold in Sabran or not? Ladies and gentlemen, real Sabran, when you put in the water, always stay on the top. Like few minutes, 15, 20, 25 seconds. And after turn color, the easy yellow. If, if you see goes down, very quick if you see turn color orange is not good good quality okay be sure to try the baklava and the turkish delights both treats date way back and have a long history most shops will let you try it before you buy it so at least just give it a try while you're in turkey 
The people in Turkey were very friendly. So not just the salesmen that were trying to sell me things, but a lot of people had smiles on their face, drew up small conversations with me, and I even had a guy that gave me a tour of the Blue Mosque when I went. And as a bonus, almost everyone there was bilingual and spoke English. So that made it a lot more convenient for me to maneuver my way around the city and also to make purchases. So I did get a perfume roll-on oil. So I got two of those from two different vendors. They smell really nice. And of course, I just picked up a little snack. So grab some pistachios. They taste very fresh, but they do have a taste of like tea, which is weird because I think it's that so close to the tea leaves. It kind of picked up that flavor, but they're good nonetheless. But yeah, these are a few things that I picked up. So I have another dislike to share with you guys. Turkey has a lot of smokers and most of the smokers are the men there. So I've seen people smoking from sunup to sundown. So if smoking bothers you, then you're really not going to like this about the city. But if it doesn't bother you, then you will be just fine. Now let's get into the food. So the portion sizes were nice. The prices were right, but I am not a fan of Turkish food. So I'll have a separate video going over some of the foods that I ate in Turkey and my honest opinions about them, but the food scene was just not my jazz. To make up for this, I did enjoy the ice cream. So the ice cream was not like regular American ice cream or like gelato. It was not as sweet as those types of ice creams and plus it did not melt as quickly. This ice cream is made from something called salip, which is made from an orchid tuber. So it gives the ice cream a stretchy consistency. Overall, 10 out of 10 for the ice cream and entertainment. One thing that I was indifferent about was the free roaming animals in Turkey. Specifically, there were lots of cats and dogs in both Istanbul and in Cappadocia when I visited. So if you are an animal lover and just love to stop and pet animals, you would definitely love this aspect. However, if you don't care for animals too much, you might find it a bit annoying. So this next gem is for my history nerds and my social media people who just love to get the best photos. Be sure to add the Basilica Cistern to your itinerary. This ancient underground water reservoir was built in the year 532. It was constructed during the reign of the Roman Emperor Justinian. It provided water to the inhabitants of the city of Constantinople at that time. This place has such unique infrastructure and is great for photo ops as well. So not only do you get a taste of history, you also get some amazing photos. One thing I absolutely love about Turkey is the enormous amount of landmarks that you're gonna find here. So if you love history, Turkey is a wonderful place to grow your knowledge about the Ottoman Empire and also countries around it. So this is what my room is looking like, guys. So my single room, we have a mirror, we have the bed, multiple ways to light the room. It's a pretty small, pretty small room. I have storage here, I have a television, and also the bathroom. Okay, and this is what this looks like. I rate my overall experience in Turkey an 8.5 out of 10. The culture and history definitely gets a 10 out of 10, food 5 out of 10, activities 9, and accessibility an 8. So would I come back to Turkey? Absolutely. I feel like this should be a place on everybody's bucket list. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you stay tuned for more. In my next videos, I will give you my honest reviews of all the food I ate in Turkey. So this includes Istanbul and Cappadocia. You'll also get a glimpse of what it was like visiting an underground city. 
If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? It's absolutely free. Be sure to like and share if you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one.